All right, guys. Good morning, Coda Boy Thirty Two here, checking out, sitting on my back patio, having a cup of coffee. My beautiful wife is sitting over there, and one of my dogs is out there getting ready to throw up. But anyway, before we get started today, I wanted to show you something. This is a turbine blade from a jet engine, and this is made of titanium. And guess what we're going to do with this? We're going to shoot it. All right. So anyway, uh, the purpose of this video: a man, Houston man becomes the first person indicted for owning a bump stock. A little bit more to the story. You would think that uh, they charged in and got him with his bump stock and all the other stuff, and that's partly true. <clears throat> but let me go ahead and continue reading here. Houston man, and this comes from the way of the Washington Examiner, just a wonderful news organization. Uh, a Houston man was indicted on federal charges Wednesday for allegedly owning a bump stock attached to his rifle featuring the first such case since the Trump administration banned the possession of bump stocks earlier this year. This this is where it gets interesting because it's not just, he didn't just have a bump stock, he was caught, uh, all right, moving forward, okay, a J. Dingra, I'm guessing he's either uh, Pakistani or Indian, 43, is charged on four counts of firearms violations including the possession of a machine gun. Yes, not just you are gonna get busted or you're going to get charged with a bump stock, but they're going to charge you with possession of a machine gun. Remember, they changed the ruling with the adaption and addition of the bump stock. It turns that firearm into a machine gun. That's why they were able to justify the ban. Okay, let's see. Uh, two counts of making false statements to acquire a firearm and a possession of a firearm. <coughs> All right, Dingra was found to have been previously committed to a mental institution was barred from possessing a, a firearm ammunition. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting, and this is where it, he really screwed the pooch here. Authorities became suspicious of Dingra last month after he left a concerning message with George W. Bush Foundation. He also sent an email to the foundation asking Bush to send one of your boys to come and murder me. Okay, so you're... Uh, you're one of a good law-abiding citizen who just happens to have a bump stock. I would suggest that you don't contact the Bush administration or the Bush Foundation and say, send some boys over here to murder me. Uh, Secret Service agents will open up a case. And that's what they did. They opened an investigation into Dingra, which led to him to his, to his home, where they found a whopping 277 rounds of 9mm. It's amazing to me that they counted out the specific ammo count. I mean... Under my desk, uh, here in my home, still in the box, I probably have a thousand rounds of uh, 556 and a thousand rounds of 65 Creedmoor. 277 rounds of 9mm. <sighs> a Glock pistol and a Colt rifle with a bump stock inserted into it. I don't know how you insert a bump stock into your Colt, but it, <laughs> it kind of gives me a funny picture. You know, you got your Colt out there in the yard and you're inserting a bump stock into it. Okay, so anyway, Dingra allegedly informed Secret Service when they arrived to his home that he had been diagnosed with schizophrenia. The case is reported to be the first incident of the indictment person for possessing a bump stock. Uh, la, 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 la. Devices came under the national scrutiny, and I don't want to hear about all that stuff. Anyway, he is uh, facing up to 10 years in jail and a $250,000 fine if convicted. Okay, so guys, I thought that was interesting. I wanted to share it with you. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Um, uh, I, and if you have anything, email me your pictures of you inserting a, a bump stock into your cult. But uh, other than that, uh, that's it. I just wanted to share it with you. Yep, there he goes. And uh, we'll leave it at that. Man arrested or indicted and charged with the ownership and possession of a machine gun, otherwise called a bump stock. Let's go to Boy32. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women. Come on, come on, come on. In uniform. Come on, come on, Desha, baby. 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom's not free. I love you, too. Yes, I do. Say hi.